Hey guys, it's Kelsey and I'm back with another How to Kill a Kit with Style Layout for November using Vicki Booten's Wildflower and Honey Collection that was sent to me by Scrap of Good Joy. So I decided I wanted to go back and try and do another monochromatic layout. So layout to the green one on the craft, I kind of intended to be monochromatic and then as you know, turned out to have a few extra colors uh, tossed in by the end. So I wanted to try and do a truly monochromatic layout this time around. And I love this teal background that's in the paper pad. So I'm using that as my background. I have these two photos of Bennett and Kevin. They are just best little buds. So I wanted to make sure to get these photos documented. Uh, so I'm basically going through and just pulling out all of the blue papers. So I have this scrap of this navy from the 12 by 12 and a few pieces of blue pattern papers from the six by eight. Uh, I'm just staggering these photos and matting them really quickly on the smaller bits before I get to layering the other stuff. Um, and then I'm going through my ephemera and pulling out anything with those same kind of tones, um, as well as like the neutral tones. Like I really wanted to get these rulers used up just because this is kind of documenting Bennett's growth and I thought it was the best way to use a ruler. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I got that. Um, on this page, there is a you know, almost 12 inch strip on the sticker sheet of a large ruler. And then there's a smaller um, six inch ruler in the ephemera. So I thought if I could get them both on here, I'd be doing good. <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm starting. Um, I just tucked a few things on either side of the photo. Um, and then I wanted that bigger ruler to run down the entire side of one of the edges. So that's kind of where I'm starting. I really wanted to get this uh, B little, um, you see it, the card on the left side of the photo used up just because, you know, B is for Bennett, but also like, I don't know, I felt like alphabets and letters always go really well on baby pages just because, I mean, he's obviously not learning his alphabets and numbers yet, but I still thought it was appropriate. So wanted to get it used up while I had a chance. Um, that's really one of the goals on this one, other than trying to do a monochromatic layout is use a lot of the ephemera pieces I thought I was going to have trouble with uh, just to get them on a page so they were used <laughs> and I think they're really cute so I didn't want to be left at the end of the month not having used them so <laughs> anything that I think can go on this page I'm trying to get on here um, so there's that large ruler that's running up the left side of the page um, I really like how this bee looks with that floral leafy frame tucked behind it so uh, I am going to cut off the back part of that frame that's hidden and use it in another area as well I really like doing that with my frames uh, just so you can kind of get more mileage out of your ephemera. <laughs> but I like how this is looking. I just know I kind of want things tucking out of different sides of these photo clusters. So I kind of have the ruler on the right side, this kind of uh, B on the left side, and then I'm kind of thinking I might uh, stretch to the upper right hand corner as well. Um, just because that ruler kind of stretches up that way anyway. So I'm going to try and connect that into a different cluster. <laughs> But I wanted a little something on the right side with the ruler and because of this uh, leafy frame that's on the left side, this is the same type of floral in this little leafy sprig. So I thought that would be cute tucking out from the side of the ruler. So that's going over there. Um, and then another thing I was having a really hard time with with this uh, collection that I think is really, really cute is all of these tassel embellishments on the chipboard. So um, I thought if I could get one or two of them on this page, we would be doing good. <laughs> They're really, really cute, but I hadn't used them so far. So I was like, you know what, this is the page. We're getting some stuff on here. Uh, so I pulled out that long gold holographic uh, tassel to run in with that cluster. I really like how it connects that cluster to the photo. Uh, and there is also a blue a uh, strip of tassels on the chipboard that I'm also keeping an eye on <laughs> because again, it's blue, I'm doing monochromatic, I'm having a hard time with the tassels, so I want to use them while I'm thinking about it. Uh, I also think it'll be nice because I already have this tassel embellishment down here, so it would make sense to kind of mirror that somewhere else. <laughs> I want a little bit more detail down there. So I did just take a scrap of some navy that I had border punched and stretching that along the bottom horizontal line of the photographs. So that also kind of connects the uh, embellishment clusters to the photo cluster. So I really like that added detail. So I'm gonna get that glued down. And then I'm trying to think of what I do next. I went missing, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> 
there I am. So I have that little scrap from that frame. So I definitely want to make sure I get that used up on this page as well. So I'm thinking maybe I'll stretch it up from behind the ruler up into uh, maybe a title area or a third cluster. Uh, so it's kind of what I'm thinking. I just know I want to get it used up. I don't want that scrap at the end <laughs> of the month. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and commit and just uh, glue all of this down. I like how it's laying. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to have some bigger paper layers behind all of these little bits and pieces, but I honestly, I love this teal background. I didn't want to cover it up too much, and I figured if I was going to go in heavier with the embellishment that I wanted the background to be more simple with less layers. So gluing it down and just going to play with ephemera from here pretty much. <laughs> so I uh, definitely need to find a way to connect that frame in the upper right hand corner. Um, there is a little banner I decided to add underneath the lower left hand corner. Just it's blue as another little layery bit. Think it looks cute. So got it on there. <laughs> And now I'm just going through, I mean, anything that's blue pretty much. I'm trying to find something to go up in that cluster. So I'm um, looking through whatever I pulled out. And then I found this little Enjoy Today. I figured that would be a really good title. This isn't really a specific page. It's really just documenting Bennett and Kevin. They're just best little buddies now. So I didn't really need anything really specific for a title. So I figured that worked just fine. Adds more tealy blue in there. And then it also covers up the piece of the frame uh, that I chopped off. So... <laughs> going through all the chipboard, trying to find whatever is blue. I go through my sticker sheet in a moment as well, but um, here's a blue tassels, and I thought with having that corner cluster, that would be a really nice way to pull that in. So that's going to get stuck down as well. I'm pretty happy with that cluster, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue it. And I love, love, love these little blue banners with the holographic splatter on them. I think they are so cool and I, I love them right away as soon as I opened this collection and saw that I thought those were so cool so while I'm using blue and holographic I, I thought I had to get these on these pages so I'm trying to play around I kind of was thinking I would have one and two different clusters um, but whenever I put the second one in a different cluster I couldn't find a nice way for it to lay um, I tried it putting on its side but then it just looked weird um, so I just decided to put them both in the upper right hand corner kind of staggered and I really like how it makes that cluster stretch to the upper right hand corner of the page I think the banners look really cute next to each other and I also like that it kind of mimics and balances the holographic from that long tassel on the bottom because the only other holographic on here right now are those banners so I like that it's on the opposite side of the page of those holographic tassels so those are staying there um, back to embellishment seeing what else I can try and add on here <laughs> I think it's pretty much getting there. I just, while I'm doing this whole monochromatic blue thing, trying to do some clusters, I'm trying to see what else I can tuck in, if anything. Um, so I'm pretty happy with what I got used up on the chipboard. I'm going to the flat sticker sheets now. I'm pulling in a few blue stickers. So there's a little circular blue embellishment I tucked down there by the ruler and the sprig. It kind of fills in that awkward gap that there was between that border punched piece and the leafy element right above it uh, also pulls a little bit more blue over there um, and then there's this nice little set sentiment that also is on blue that says favorite moments and I think that's really cute so I'm just going to pop that up on some foam and have that over in the bottom right hand cluster as well I, I like that there's that brings words over there as well um, just because the left hand corner you have you know the tag this is the B I'll, I'll add something else over there as well you see I just added love which adds another little holographic element and then you have the title in the upper right hand corner so I like that there's a little bit of text something in the bottom right hand corner as well just so that's mimicked in all three areas <laughs> adds a little bit of holographic there as well um, there's some faux holographic stitching on that piece as well as the polka dots on that little circular piece are holographic and then I had three little holographic plus signs left on the chipboard sheet so I figured I would tuck one of those into each of those three clusters as well so I think that pretty much finishes the embellishment I'm doing a little bit of journaling down the side of the page against that ruler so it just says uh, Kevin and you became fast friends he has watched you grow since you were born so sweet so that kind of references why there's rulers, Bennett's growing. <laughs> it also references the photo as uh, Bennett and Kevin snuggling. So uh, they're so cute. There's lots of pictures coming with those two and it just gets cuter. <laughs> but here are the close-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.